um all right uh, uh what is up people this is the uh the mark talking to himself part yeah okay um i feel like i had my um adolescence after debut actually the average time for most kids or teenagers who go through their adolescence is like when they're at their teenage time in their lives. But um, for me, I feel like it came after debut. Yeah, thinking about it now. The adolescence wave itself couldn't interfere with my practicing. That's how I kind of thought about it while looking back. Like I had no time for the wave to come. That's how busy I was with practicing. Like that's crazy thinking about it now. But um, I think that is um, the truth. Like the song, it kind of has that rebellious vibe as we all intended. We all have that in our hearts. I really, really think that we all do. No matter who you are, what age you're in, we still have it and we all know that it's something that we should kind of control. But um, we as people are so bad at being controlled. But most importantly, as children and as kids, and you know, like when puberty hits and you know, when like that adolescence wave comes in, um, that rebellious spark, like that gate opens up the most and it's the most visible, it's the most, you know. I kinda had to relate to that emotion for, for the song um, particularly. I mean, I still have that rebellious surge cause, cause we all do. I kinda like enhanced it too, to make it more dramatic. But um, it is all from like genuine thoughts and emotions, you know, like there's a line where I go, I want to break my responsibilities. Um, but that was something that I actually did feel. And that weight of responsibility, no matter what it is, really does feel like a lot of weight. And um, it prevents you from becoming very free sometimes. And that feeling was the inspiration for the whole song in general too, yeah. Well, I feel like to be free means for you to be entirely yourself and to not be concerned with what the world and the society has framed on you. Like everything's opinionated, everything's subjective. All of that gone and you just being you. Like I think that's when you're at your most freest moment, yeah. Um, I started, well, wait, thinking back, all right. Um, I started writing when I was a trainee, yeah. I was first like introduced interested in rap yeah i feel like that's that's the better word that was the start yeah for example how i always start well i think i should uh talk about the way we started off with the child first we kind of brainstormed together we feed off each other's ideas and it's like a team brainstorming effect for other cases i guess I like you start off with hearing the beat first. You you imagine what you can talk about through through the vibe in the song, and I think that's how your brain starts to navigate through what it wants to say and what your what your emotions want to say too. Yeah, there are so many things that inspire, motivate um, me. I think it's endless. Like the amount of um, topics I can write about, the amount of expressions or there are so many possible um, things and subjects to express about. And so I think that's what the longevity in music um, works. You just keep going as long as you have the drive. I never worry about the limit to what I can say. Like there are always stuff to say. So what's genuine is what matters. And as long as I can express it through my own way, I guess, um, is what matters the most, and I think that's what I uh, care about um, the most. Very an off-the-record piece of information. The outro to this song and the scene where where this outfit itself comes out was about to be er like erased. There were some suggestions and uh, some feedback from you know the label. It'd be more. Um, fun for the listener to have the song end after their bridge um, without an outro concluding it. And so there was a debate 
eventually. I honestly wanted the outro in there because I had a time where I could talk with the, uh, the music video director herself. And she told me how she had these ideas for the outro. And um, that was when I first heard about the outro becoming like the most explosive scene. And so um, with that all being in my head, I, realized, I, I knew that um, the outro should be in the song. But when I heard other suggestions and other um, feedback, I was like, um, I did give it a listen, but I did, I knew in my heart that, uh, that the outro had to be there. And so uh, we had a lot of talks and a lot of meetings and eventually um, the outro was saved. And uh, I'm so glad it did, yeah. Um, the reason why the song came about was I wanted to write a song. I wanted to see myself fill, fill up an entire song myself. And um, that's how I started um, with sessions. That's how I started reaching out to people um, for sessions. I feel like I should also talk about why I came out with this song at this particular time. It is quite random, but uh, I just wanted to uh, give something to my fans, um, something that I haven't really given them ever before. I guess it's like, it's the perfect um, thing for an idol or like a singer or a performer to give to, give to their fans. I feel like um, that's like the most um, appropriate gift. And so I really wanted to do that for them. And the reason why was because I knew how hard they worked for me. And uh, I kind of felt that so much, like especially last year, 2021. I was busy, which made them that much more busier. And so I kind of had this plan um, near the end of 2021. Um, and I wanted this song to come out at the end of that year, but uh, I guess for certain reasons and circumstances, it kind of got delayed to, to now. But um, I'm just so glad it did come out. Um, everyone was very supportive about it. And most importantly, I just wanted my fans to like it, you know, and I had other songs as well, but um, I felt like this could be the yeah, appropriate one for, for this specific time. And so I just wanted to uh, show my gratitude to, to you guys. Yeah. I have so much. I have so many concerns when I work um, in my music space. Each and every song is a, different, is a different journey for me. Like, and it's that tough. Like some songs come out so naturally and some don't. And I feel like it's just an endless effort and an endless push for me. But um, I know that I can't give up because it's something that I really want to do. And so it drives me crazy. It makes me so happy. It gets me mad. It gets me sad. It gets me stressed. It gets me overly joyed. But um, with all that like rolling around every time I do something, um, it just makes it that much more meaningful. And so I think about that the most. Like, you know, when I'm in my music space, I know that I want to get this at the highest quality level ever and so that's what I always think about like how can I do this in the best way in the coolest way or in the freshest way and how can I do it in a way that only I can do it I guess I kind of tap into like my inner area where I know that I got to bring every piece of inspiration and every piece of what's in me out for it to work yeah um, that was a line where, you know, like, Munjea, um, I kind of like the word. I, I don't think English has a word for that perfectly, but, um, it basically means, like, a troubled kid, like, but, um, I kind of thought that that word was totally perfect for this song, and, uh, and it's, like, in the beginning of the song, too, so it kind of opens the, uh, the mood and it introduces the concept for the listener, like, right away. I guess I exaggerated about it. Like, I don't really think that I'm in an entire, like, a total, like, troubled, like a troublemaking kid or anything. But, um, I always, but I sincerely do think that, um, I have problems, you know? I, uh, talk and think to myself a lot, um, about my problems. And I'm really good at looking at myself from a third person's perspective. And so I know what my problem is. Just, I guess it's the internal, like the mental stresses that I have in me that make me think that, um, oh, I guess I'm not living in the most comfortable way. And from that thought, from those emotions and from those moments, I kind of got the moon jaya, like the troubled kid guideline, yeah. Because I can, I can relate, yeah. I can fit myself in that 
in that category, yeah. What am I in the eyes of other people? That is a thought that I always kind of have, I guess all introverts do. What am I to the eyes of the people around me? Like that's something that I can never get out of my head, um, whether it be in a good way or a bad way. That's just out there, you know? That's like, that itself is such a massive, wide, infinite, endless question. Because there are just that many people and there are just that many um, thoughts that can, and, and judgments and, uh, and opinions that can come at me. And so in the end, it's just up to you. Like it's up to how I am to myself first before I look at who I am to other people. Yeah, it's always something that I'm, I have in my head, yeah. Currently, I feel like what I am to other people, um, dang, who am, like, what am I to the people around me? That's so hard to say out loud right now, like, I don't even know. To the people around me, I guess, I guess I'm a nice guy, but, um, the important thing is, to me, I'm not a nice guy. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm a child, you know? I guess I'm not a child, but um, I guess it's just um, a metaphor because I'm still so, so, so young. I'm still so, so, so uneducated, inexperienced, curious, who needs guidance, who needs uh, discipline, you know, like all those attributes, I guess, all those requirements um, suit a child as well, which is something that anyone else can go through as well and so I kind of wanted to say that I'm a child I'm still a child going after my goals and going after my dreams um, that's just all I always think about all I always picture in my head there's nothing more bigger than that for me like that's my main point of concentration and um, it's the, it's the only reason why I have a drive you know I'm always driven to to reach my my next destination or my next aim you know and so it's what pushes me to go like every time I uh, wake up in the morning I guess yeah um at the end of the chorus where it goes it's, it's a different day or it's a different night with the same nightmare like each and every day each and every night changes but at the end we all are stuck or at least I'm always stuck with the same problem with the same with the same nightmare and so uh literally I guess I don't really dream about nightmares <laughs> Yeah, I'm, I'm too busy uh, just blacking out. But uh, I guess nightmares can also be considered as, you know, just at night before going to sleep, like having those stresses and those negative thoughts bothering you um, when you're alone, just looking at the ceiling. I guess those can be nightmares as well. Like they also count. Yeah, so it's just, you're stuck in your head, yo. You're stuck in your head. People are so lonely. People can be so lonely. And at the end, it's just them wanting help. At least that's how I kind of interpreted it. Just, that was a line where I, where I just wanted to say, you know, um, can someone just notice me, notice my problems? You know, when we're all having those moments, we're in that stance where we ask for help. Can someone, can someone notice me? Um, because you need that attention, you know? I guess people live off of each other, yeah. Like I said, I'm a child. So to me, to child Mark, I would like to tell you, you're normal, you know? Oh, I was about to go deep. I was about to go down, down deep. All right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna bring it back up, hold up. I'm gonna tell you that you're, you're normal, you know? This is this is life, you know? This is what people go through. This is what everyone else before me went through. So uh, think of yourself as just as one of them and that you're doing fine. Sometimes you're doing better, sometimes you're doing worse. But at the end, it's it's you. So I just want you to have no, re no regrets. I want you to uh, feel yourself grow. And I just want you to also love yourself, yeah. I always wanted to tell myself that. I always wanted to tell and make myself to love myself, yeah. Because it's never been easy for me to do that. So, uh, yeah.
Go try. Here. 